Fishing Life. Welcome to my studio, aka the Lincoln Lounge. This is the bar I built. If you didn't know already, I'm a full-time artist, uh, so I make art in this space and all my tackle and boat fit in here too, on the other side of this wall. I'm here to do my first unboxing on this channel, this box right here. Before I get to that, I think I need a drink. So this package that I got here, I did not order these lures. They didn't even ask for these. Um, this comes from my good friend Justin, who uh, lives in California, and he was in some of my California fishing adventure, excellent adventure. Check out the playlist and check out our trip to both uh, Clear Lake and we also went to, uh, what was it, Lake Comanche. Uh, I have both of those up on my site, um, Ted Lincoln's Life. Cheers, Justin. Uh, we're going to take a look at this box you sent me. So yeah, like I said, I have no idea what this box. He just told me he was sending me some stuff that he was tired of or didn't feel like was working for him out there in the Sacramento area. Or for some reason, he just thought I should have. I have no idea. He All he sent me was a picture of a tackle tray that you couldn't see anything in. So let's open it up. Got my little... Oh wait, we don't even need this. Might need it later, but... All right, FedEx box, I do need this thing. More tape on the corner. Dick knife. Got it from the Whaling Museum in New Bedford. I was looking at a Moby Dick art show. Alright, I can't believe I have no idea what's in here. Don't need that. Uh oh, there's more than a tray in here. But here's the tray. Dang. This box was heavy. Um, yeah, we'll get to this in a second because there's one more thing in here. Uh-oh. So if you don't know, um, big light bait or big swim bait fishing is big in California. And I'm, I've been trying to do it here in Florida with some success, mixed success. Um, you can check out some of my videos, but that's what Justin and I talk about a lot. So I have a feeling this is something I might like. So before we get to the tray, I'm going to open this and see what's in here. Yep, look at that. Dang. That is a big glide bait. I'm going to put a little uh, close-up shot of most of these lures, maybe not all of them. It looks like there's some crankbaits and stuff in here I'll, I'll just uh, show you, but I'll do a close-up of each one. This, I believe, yes, this is a Savage Gear uh, 230 Shine Glide in a bluegillish pattern. I have been looking at picking up some Savage Gear stuff especially these glide baits in actually this size. So that's probably why Justin sent to me. I think I mentioned it to him. Um, got double hooks on the back or double rings on the back. That's cool. Man, that's gonna get bit. So number one, 230 Shine Glide by Savage Gear. Cheers to that. Mm -hmm. Let's open 
the box. Crap. I should say, wow. There's a lot of nice, nice stuff in here. Got a note even. Just making sure there wasn't anything in here I didn't need to share. We've been old friends for a while. Uh, I won't bore you with all of it, but basically he lists some of the stuff he puts in here. So I'll go through it, but just saying Merry Christmas from an old buddy. Um, I'm going to start at this end with the bigger baits and we'll work into these some of these crankbaits as we go along. Uh, this is crazy, Justin. There's a lot of stuff. Alright, so what's this? Oh man. It's a trout bait. Ooh, it's pretty sharp hooks, that's for sure. Um, glide bait, obviously. It's got a little uh, clip on the front, speed clip. I gotta take my glasses off. Uh, so this is the Storm Arashi. I've heard about this bait. I've yet to see one. There's not a lot of shops that sell these kind of baits here in Gainesville. So I don't get to see these in the stores. Um, trout color, uh, that should work around here. I'm also getting into lure painting, so if I feel like any of these lures aren't a color I like, I might actually repaint them. Um, nice touch of the swiveling hook hangers. Some sharp, big troubles on it. So yeah, this is the Urashi Glide. Um, in a trout color. Bait number two. There's this. I've looked at this. I knew he had one. This is the Irma Glide Flute. This is the bigger one. I forget exactly how long this one is. It's like 178, I think, in a bass pattern. So I'm obsessed with the bass patterns. I've been actually painting my own bass color a little darker than this. Actually, a lot darker than this. But I think this will work too. Um, I have a Glide Flute, the smaller one, in a slow sinking this feels like a sinking maybe regular sinking I don't know if it's fast or slow I'll I'll look it up and when I do the little video of each bait I'll uh, or close-up of each bait I'll list what each one is if I can find it so there it is an Irma glide fluke in bass in baby bass that is I'm definitely using this soon <laughs> So one of the reasons I like the bass stuff is one of the lakes I go to uh, is kind of isolated from the rest of the Florida body of water. So there are no real shad in that lake. There's not a lot of shiners. There's some bluegill. And I've noticed that a lot of the really big bass are eating smaller bass. I even caught a six pound bass with probably over a pound and a half bass in his stomach. So it's probably like a five pound bass before he ate the other bass. Actually, I have a bite of the day video on that. I'll link it at the bottom or maybe up top if I get around to that editing. Um, so I can see, we'll get back to the box. So I can see right here on top, there are two of these, at least two to start, um, which I know he'd been trying to use and I use a lot. I'm a big fan, the Beast Coast Miyagi. Uh, this is like a bluegillish color and then more of a shad green bag color. I'm not sure of all their color names but I know uh, Justin was having problems with these and uh, so that's I assume why I got two of them uh, I'm a big fan looking forward to using more of them all right oh there's is this another one yeah there's one more of that bluegill so three of them <laughs> Got 
here on top. I actually have one of these, but I love it. And it's always good to have a backup. This is the Pistol Pete by G Rat Bates in the bass color. There's one of these hanging up right there, actually, yeah, on my swim bait wall. Um, great bait. Uh, I have the other one weighted down to sink, so I'll keep this one the way it is. That will have two of them. Um, this definitely gets bit. <laughs> water in there. I'll get to that later. Oh, that's an antique. I don't even know what that is. Skip ahead. Um, it's got a, a double hook in the front. Uh, I don't know, but that's an antique lure. I'm gonna, I have an antique lure collection just over here, so this is going to be added. I'll see if I can find anything out about it, but it's pretty cool. Thanks, Justin. a six cents uh, glide bait. Um, I forget what they call this their glide bait, but I hear they're discontinuing it. Um, I've actually caught a lot of fish on the bluegill color. This is like the golden shad. It's like blue back with gold. Um, like all six cents is beautiful colors. Uh, they do such a good job with their paint and they've got massive hooks for the size bait on there. Quality stuff. All my six cents stuff, I actually don't have to change the hooks. I've actually stolen hooks off of some sav, uh, off of some six cents stuff when I needed a hook for another bait, just because they're so good. I end up putting them back, of course. So yeah, there's the six cents glide bait. Uh, I'm actually a big fan of this, so I'm glad I got another one. I only have I had three. I'm down to one, so now I have two again. Broke off and casting and underwater trees couldn't get to. Cheers, Justin. It's pretty good so far. And I just see more cool stuff. This is what I was looking at as soon as I opened the box. This is a Bait Sanity. Bait Dynasty. Bait Dynasty. Get some of those names mixed up. Um, this is their smaller glide. And I guess this must be the super slow sink because he's got a bunch of suspend strips on here. And it's in this dark kind of trout color. Um, I actually just ordered one of these in a different color in the just slow sink. So I'm probably going to take these strips off and so then I'll have like two different uh, water levels, depth levels to fish. Um, I've been wanting to try this. Uh, it's got a lot of good reviews on kind of a mid-range glide bait on the bigger side of small, I guess, for the glide baits. Uh, I'm excited to try this one. This is awesome. And underneath that is another Shine Glide Savage Gear in a kind of I don't know, herring color, I guess. Shad herring. I don't know which color it is, but that is a snack size. That 
You can just throw as I think a regular lure, like no special gear needed. Um, sharp hooks. I'm excited about this one too because you can fish this almost anywhere, just not in cover, obviously. Mm -hmm. thing because these you can fish and cover with the box over a little I'm not even sure what this is this must be a unique baits I'll double check but it's kind of a carp shape and color I really like it got a deep really deep belly slot for a swim jig hook, weighted swim jig hook. That I'm gonna try maybe even tomorrow. Or I'm going tomorrow, I'm gonna to be fishing it up some trees. This might work really well because they've been up there eating bluegill. This is close enough to bluegill color. And like I said, I'll double check who makes this one. Uh, soft bait. <laughs> Soft baits are hard if you can't tell what they are just by looking at them. But I can with this next one just by looking at them. This is, well, I can't tell you exactly which one this is. I believe this is the Working Class Zero uh, Citizen in pearl white. Yeah, I mean, if you know anything about getting swim baits, it's almost impossible to get these. This might be the older one, not the Citizen. I forget all of the names, but this is definitely one of the Working Class Zero weedless soft baits. It's got a unique pocket for the hook. It's up in here. Uh, I got a place I'm going to use this in the spring, that's for sure. A Atypical Outdoors knows what I'm talking about. Stoked on this because I just never have money when they're on sale or for sale even because he sells out so quickly. It's hollow on the inside, so the hook totally hides. I don't know. It's really cool. I'll try to find a hook and rig it for the close-up if I have one that size. I'm not sure I do. Mm -hmm. swim bait which is the same uh, carp just already rigged pretty cool it's a big big beast hook that fits in there screws in the way I fish I gotta screw it all the way in though because if there's any little Part of that sticking out the grass I fish in just clings on so I almost bury the eye see how little that is but it makes it a little harder to line up the hook but I think I can get it cool bait like I said I might even fish this tomorrow <laughs> it for the big swim baits um, there's a bunch of crankbaits in here square bills mostly 
uh, I probably won't uh, go through all of these with you. I'm going to show you a few of them. Well, I guess I'll show them all to you. I just might not do close-ups of all of them. Um, because I don't even know. I assume these are some that his friend painted for him. Um, yeah, they're signed. So these were custom painted uh, play on a Lucky Craft uh, square bill. This is like a almost like a bass pattern. It's more of like a green sunfish, spotted sunfish kind of pattern. It's really cool. And here's another one, same kind of pattern and more of a craw. This is also uh, one of those Lucky Craft uh, blanks. Well, it's not actually Lucky Craft, but it's based on a Lucky Craft uh, square bill. I have some of these, I'm, like I said, going to get into lure painting, look forward to some of that coming up. Um, so there's a lot of these in here. Let me grab all of the custom painted ones. So there's kind of a green sunfish. There's kind of a craw. We got a heron, a blue herring color. Same, same square bill. Um, there's another one in kind of a variation of a spotted sunfish with a blue head. Here's another one. This still has a line on it. I guess Justin's tried this one. This is what I would actually try. It's like, almost like a golden shiner. A little more green to it. That's definitely a color I can use around here. Oop, sharp hooks. There's some different sizes of these in here. So let's start with all the same size. This is why I use hook uh, covers. If you ever see it in my tackle boxes, I never keep my lures in a box with open trebles. I'll show you that sometime. Here's a kind of a sexy shad greenback. Another one of those sexy shad in the greenback. I'll probably just lay these all out and do a close-up of all of them for you guys. Here's another one of those um, like spotted sunfish with a blue head, just like the one up there. And there's a couple repeats. Here's a smaller one of the green spotted sunfish. Here's a purple headed sunfish. There's two of those, two sizes. Here's the smaller, like the 1.5 size. Here's an actual deeper, deeper diving crankbait. And I'm not sure how deep this one goes, but it's kind of a shad, I don't know, with chartreuse gills. It's kind of a play off a of shad color. Here's that same style crankbait in a purple with silver. Another one of these green sunfish. Oh, I've got a big truck back there. Hold on, guys. So yeah, another one of those green, uh, kind of sexy shad colors in that smaller square bill. And then here is a play off of a 110. I have these same blanks, so that's how I know. Um, in kind of a red, just a red, with the black top, bait fish. I don't know. Uh, I'm working with some of these. I don't know if this one feels a little heavier. I've been trying to figure out how to get them to suspend because when you get them, these bulk uh, baits from China, they don't, they mostly float. I haven't found one that, or sink. There's not any suspending. That's what you pay the money for when you buy a real jerk bait from, you know, Lucky Craft, Mega Bass, even Rapala. Like they test each bait and lure to make sure it's the right buoyancy well at least within a certain water temp but I've been playing around with adding weights and different rings and hooks to get uh, these kind of cheaper ones which I'm only using these while I'm learning how to paint um, well I don't know if this is exactly I'm using ones I don't know which one uh, this was originally but I'm using some of the cheaper ones just as a beginning platform before I start actually making my own baits which is coming eventually as 
you know, I'm an artist. I have a full wood shop and all these tools and painting and stuff. I might as well do it, right? And then hidden amongst all this, the last thing is just a little red eye two tap by Stray King, Silver Shad. I'm not the biggest lipless guy. In fact, I hardly ever throw a lipless, which I know is shocking to anybody who thinks about fishing in Florida. And I just feel like everybody fishes them in Florida. And then as soon as that bass hears that, they swim away. Not all of them, but the bigger, smarter ones. I've definitely caught fish on lipless. I just don't choose to throw it very often. But if I do, I tend to use silent or these two taps that have a different sound. Uh, I try not to throw just your typical rattle trap. But yeah, that's the last of it. That is quite an unexpected haul of baits. Cheers again, Justin. Um, like I said, I have a close up of all of these. I'll group all the crankbaits together and hopefully a little description of each one. And hopefully soon I'll have a video of me catching stuff, especially with some of these glide baits. This one, man. That's gotta be big fish that eat that. I'm excited. So until next time, guys, Ted Lincoln, Ted Lincoln's Fishing Life. Thanks for checking it out. I'm out. And one more cheers for you, Justin. Cheers, Justin. Hey guys. I'm back. Uh, yeah, I was in the middle of editing the unboxing from my buddy Justin and the first of my Tackle Warehouse Black Friday boxes showed up so kind of decided to add this on at the end uh also swim bait so i figured it's you know kind of uh, appropriate and i've actually not opened this box all day because i actually went fishing today and caught my pb on a cinco not a swim bait believe it or not in um i don't know there's gonna be a whole video about it but i caught a 12.8 today on a seven inch weightless Florida rig Cinco. I'm still kind of in shock, but I have some big baits. Hopefully they'll catch me even a bigger bass soon. So like I said, this is the first of two Tackle Warehouse orders. Um, Black Friday, you know how it is. You order stuff, try to hold back. Then you said you wanted those other things and the sale's still going on. So here it is. There's only a few things in here. I think there's only two baits and then some line and stuff. Trusty movie dick knife. this new co-polymer by Berkeley. I'm a big fan of Berkeley lines in general. So this is the new Fluoro Shield. I'm only gonna use it as a leader. I'm a braid main line almost 100%. Some finesse spinning reels. I have a backup, um, I have a backup Fluoro spool for one of my spinning reels and my like ultra ultra light. I run four pound fluorocarbon on it. But yeah, this is 15 pound Flora Shield. Heard good things about it. Actually, my buddy Justin, who sent me the other box, has tried it already. He said it worked pretty well. Gonna give it a try. I already used the Berkeley braid, so there you go. And I'm gonna start with the big one because it's just sitting on top. This is the biggest bait. This is the biggest bait I've ever owned. And there it is here. We gotta kinda of actually move the box to get. I'm gonna do the same close up of these baits, but these are still in their boxes. This is crazy. So this is a bait, Dynasty Explorer 2 in a carp color. I think it looked most like a giant um, golden shiner. 
because we don't really have trout here. And, uh, but we do have shiner that big, and I've used shiners this big for bait and gotten bit. But not particularly big bass either. It's kind of crazy. All right. I think there's uh, some of that on the Shiner video Sawgrass Bassin put out with the two of us on his channel. I'll link that as well. So this is a nine inch. Which one did I get? I got the Slow Sink. This is the Explorer 2. I guess they had problems with their tails is what I heard. Tactical Bassin actually. Matt Allen said it. That's a nice guy, I actually met him. That's, that's some packaging. I gotta remember this for when I start uh, making my baits. A little foam. It's probably cheap, but it goes a long way for presentation, you gotta admit. Man. Oh, yeah, and it comes with an extra tail. I think I knew that, but you kind of forget these things. Look at that bait. Like I said, I'm gonna do the close-up of it. Man, I wasn't gonna go fishing tomorrow, but I didn't get to throw any glide baits today because I was fishing in timber, in heavy cover. But there's a super clear water lake that I've been to once and I've been wanting to go back. I might have to just go out with the swim bait rods just to see what these do, I mean, and hopefully catch a big one. But there you go. I gotta look up the weight. I'll put all this specs on five ounces nine and a half inches on the box i knew it was on there somewhere man look at that i just can't get over it i'm excited about this oh man do it I had to get a, one of Mike Luca's baits and instead of getting the small one or the shad I was sorely missing a bluegill swim bait so I got the Mike Luca um, bullgill let's see if it's true that it smells like paint when you open them like I told you earlier I'm a full-time artist I actually use a lot of the same paint in my art that uh, automotive people and newer people use so I have a curing light if this is still uncured but I have a feeling it was sitting at Tackle Warehouse for a while mm. it smells like my studio yeah I know that smell look at that there you go the Mike Luca Bluegill so this is not a glide bait this bait you fish quickly Got a nice um, fiber tail, brush fiber tail, which is something I want to do when I make baits. I mean, you have to be under a rock in the swim game, bait game to not know about Mike Buka, especially since he's partnered up with, uh, what is it, Mystery Tackle Box, Catchco, uh, all the Guggen, that's all the same company. But yeah, the, the mini bluegill they put out. But this is the six inch slow sinking bluegill in bluegill color excited about this one too box is some large owner uh, swim bait springs. I don't know if you guys have uh, had the same problem I have, but pretty much the owner ones, the way they've designed it, it I replace all other hooks, little keepers with these. Uh, I can't even keep track of who makes what hook in my box anymore. I just kind of have them all together. But the owner hooks the way they screw on and center actually helps you center the bait a lot better. I find that um, the one with the clip, like the uh, 
I guess that's the Mustad or even the Gamagatsu. Um, it always wants to be a little off to the side. Even though they kind of line it up for the center, it doesn't work. But this one that you screw on works. And I actually got the large to replace the springs keepers on my four aught hooks, which come with mediums. And this really keeps your uh, baits on there longer. I, in fact, a tactical bass didn't even set it. And I had figured that out on my own, but they even have a whole section in one of their, I think is their underspin videos where they talk about replacing your bait keepers with these. Awesome stuff. And I just couldn't find the size in town uh, when I needed it. I'm out of them. Um, they do get bent out sometimes. But yeah, so I'm still a little uh, out there after catching that 12 pound, eight ounce bass earlier today. And now I got these awesome baits. Um, and now I have two videos to edit. I have to finish this one, which obviously you've watched now. And I also am gonna edit the whole cast to catch of that 12 eight. And I even filmed me weighing it and releasing it. Uh, I don't know which video will come out first, so. I imagine that will, so you've probably already seen it. If not, there'll be a link for it below. So, round two. This is Ted Lincoln from Ted Lincoln's Fishing Life. Uh, that's it. I'll see you on the water, maybe. I'm out. Big fuck.